was, I wasn't saying I was ready yet, Jeff. So, I know you got us going live now. Anyways, did you clean my desk off today? Filthy. What's up, guys? Alex here, AJNashville.com. Um, so, as you can see in the subject line, why we love to delay closings. This is something that I know everybody wants an answer to. It's something that most realtors, most other lenders, just people in general, they want to know, hey, why do lenders love to delay closing? Well, truth is we don't. <laughs> I know that's hard to believe, but we get nothing out of a delayed closing. Um, I guess I'm saying this because I read a post earlier that a friend of mine had posted and basically the response from that agent was rude and I didn't take too kindly to it. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is we're lenders. We get paid by selling money. In order to sell that money, we have to qualify people. Keep in mind, we're not borrowing $10,000 for a Chevy F1 or a Chevy F-150, Chevy Silverado. You know, we're not borrowing $50,000 for a used BMW. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. And everybody is always all about protecting our economy until it comes time to get qualified for a loan. So there's certain things that'll cause delays, and we'll talk about those things. First thing, obviously, um, if you have a client that maybe just isn't responsive, maybe they don't get you the documents in time, maybe they don't send things to you in time, maybe they don't respond to emails. Um, we've had clients like that in the past where maybe um, documents take three, four, five days to, to get in, and then we get them in, and then we do what we can to push them out and make up for the lost time. A good loan officer tends to do that. They try to make up for lost time. Um, we've had situations where Realtors have taken several days past the day the contract was bound in order to send us the contract. Um, you know, it happens from time to time. Maybe there's a missing signature on something, something like that, but that time has to be made up for. Um, you may have a situation where you just have a horrible loan officer and they get the documentation and it sits on their desk and they do nothing with it. You know, those are the people that hopefully we see drain out of this business pretty quick. Another thing is risk. So when we look at loans, there's a risk factor. The higher the risk, the longer it will take in order to close a deal. And here's why. So when you're measuring out and you're looking at this and you're saying, would I loan this person a quarter of a million, say it with me, million dollars, what do you want to look at? You want to see that they have good pay history. You know, sometimes they may be credit challenged. Maybe their score is taking a hit because of things back in the day, something like that. But you really want to take a look. And when you have a high risk person, it takes a little more effort to make sense in lending that person money. You have to have compensating factors. You know, is this person's credit score low, but they have money in the bank? Are they living rent free, but they have cash on hand or cash in the bank because they're not paying any other bills? Are these people one flat tire away from default? You know, these are questions that we have to ask when we're lending this money. So once again, lenders don't like to be late. You know, we pride ourselves here at Hancock Mortgage of generally being on time. From time to time, the closing's delayed, but there is a reason behind it, I promise you. Now the thing is, you have to have a loan partner that's honest with you on that reason. Why are we late? Here's the reason, okay? And you also have to have a real estate partner that understands that if there's a delay and it makes sense, we have to figure this out together. It's, it's not something where you want to jump in and say, okay, we're delayed, but I'm going to start pointing fingers because it's not always the loan officer's fault. It's not always the client's fault. It's not ever the real estate agent's fault. Um, you know, so that's something that we have to consider. So like I said, doing this video today, saw a buddy of mine, he posted um, some comments that he had in exchange with the agent. The agent basically drilled down on him, but at the end of the day, they found out that the reason there was a delay is because the client wasn't being responsive to the loan officer. That will create a delay. If I call you and say, send me bank statements, send me bank statements, send me bank statements, and you never send me bank statements, it's gonna take forever to close, I promise. So, any questions or anything, Jeff? Carrie Craig says communication is key. Absolutely, communication is the number one thing. If there is a delay as a loan officer, your responsibility is to communicate that delay far ahead of time. We wanna make sure that if we know something is gonna cause a delay, we are on the phone within minutes, explaining what the delay is, explaining why we have the delay, and what time period it's gonna to take to correct that. You literally need to pick up the phone, call the agent, call the client, and call the seller's agent, 
and explain that to them. This way, everybody at the table is aware of the potential delay. Do not wait till the last minute and then be like, oh my God, this delay is because two weeks ago, Captain Smith didn't send me his pay stubs. Guess what? That was two weeks ago. You should have fixed that by now. So good point, Kerry. Michael Lush, of course I knew uh, he'd have some good information. Buyers are liars. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Michael. Yes. Um, Stephen Brand, borrower's lack of urgency hurts his mortgage guys so often. It does, but let's keep in mind, it's not always the buyers, okay? There's a lot of cases where the loan officer fails to communicate. I can guarantee you one thing right now, today. Today, there is a handful of loan officers that decided just to skip, skip out after lunch. You know, they went out to lunch, had a couple beers, decided to call it a day, and there's clients that are waiting, that have stipulations that should be requested today so they can come back and clear them today or so that they can work through them over the weekend and get those to them bright and early Monday morning. So yes, I agree. There is no um, sense of urgency when it comes to our clients, but that's where us as loan officer professionals, especially people like you, Steve, who are great at this, that's where we step in and we create that sense of urgency. Mr. Client, do you wanna close on time? Yes. Do you wanna be homeless? No. Get me your damn documents now. That's all you gotta do. Anyone else? Nope, Steve Brand, you're right. Title, appraisers, and LOs. Yep, yep. So this falls on an industry problem in some cases. You know, if we can't control our client enough to get the documents in that we need, then maybe we should be doing something different. Most of us are good at it. Sometimes we can't control that. I get it. But for the most part, we're pretty good at this stuff. So. Anyways, that wraps up my rant slash educational session of the day. I know you guys didn't get to see Mr. Jeff Perry in these videos. It would have been funnier if I had him in there. He's obviously in the background. Also, please enjoy my sign. This is made by Mr. Mark Zyrate from Zyrate Steelworks. If you want one of your own, yes, he will ship. Yes, it's affordable. And yes, it's badass. Get yourself one. Talk to you guys later.